yeah, here today installing a set of Skunk 2 Ultra 1 camshafts. It's uh, basically a bit of a follow-on video from the drop-in cam test that we did. So in the last video of the cams, we back-to-backed -back four sets of cams to find out the best uh, drop-in cam available on the market. Skunk 2 took the lead on that one, I believe, for the, the, the peak number. But to be, to be honest, between the four cams, um, there was different advantages of, of uh, the lesser cam for the peak number in the mid-range. But the Skunk 2 did, did take the winning number in the end. So what we've, we've done this time is we've come back with a set of uh, Ultra 1 cams, Pro Series XP valve springs and titanium retainers. So these are just, just a drop-in camshaft itself. You've got to do the valve springs and retainers. So obviously we're going to be revving these quite a lot higher. So the stop valve springs are no good. So, so yeah, Jim's just installing these now. He's uh, removing the original genuine Honda valve springs and retainers, which you can see here, the not so shiny ones. And he's replacing them with the Skunk 2 uh, Pro Series XB valve springs and titanium retainers. He's a noisy bugger, isn't he? Jesse from JCL. Jim's eyes are stinging. We need some goggles. Get some goggles on. Yeah, so um, to do this, we're using the HPT valve. What would you call this, Jim? Valve spring compressor. Valve spring compressor tool. So basically what it does is bolt onto the head here, and then you push the spring down, and what that does is it exposes the collets or cutters, as, uh, collets or um, keepers, keepers some people call them, yeah. And what that does then is when you undo this now, that'll take the tension off there and then you can remove the valve spring from there. Yeah, valve spring on the top, man. Make sure it's at top dead centre first. Because so otherwise your valve will fall in your engine and that's really bad. And then obviously the new, just remove the old one, the new one goes in there. So this is a dual, you just want to show that to the camera. That's a much, much stiffer spring. So if you get a normal under one, you can move that quite easily. But these are a dual, dual spring as well. So you've got uh, the thicker spring on the outside, thinner one there. Much stiffer spring, so you can rev them a lot harder. And then we've got the genuine Honda Retainer there, and the Skunk 2 Titanium one there. So the stock oil pump on these is good for about 9,000 RPM. After, after about 9,000 RPM, you really do want a ported oil pump. So a four piston, they, they do a ported oil pump, and then you can obviously exceed 9,000 RPM. Whether or not we're going to be brave today, I don't know. And go for 9192. Jesse reckons that we'll get away with it, but basically, what we're going to do, I think, is map it at first to about 9,000 RPM. If it still wants to climb on the dyno, so it's still making power, we might increase it a little bit. Um, but yeah, obviously, it's used for racing, and we're going to be up there quite a lot, so I don't want to put too much stress on the engine. So I think there's a conversation to be had between me and Jesse later on of where we're going to take that RPM um, rev limiter. But yeah, I'm uh, certainly keen to see what power we're going to make over the drop-ins. I'm sure a lot of other people are. This is the sort of test that I, I don't I don't even know if this test has been done on a stock K20A2. So it'd be, be really interesting to see the results from this one, I think. So some people might have noticed we've got quite a large pipe here. Not me, but... This is what we had on the uh, intake originally. It was just kind of mocked up last minute. But there is something to be said about the length of uh, the intake pipe. Jesse, Jesse will go into this a, a little bit more later on. But I'm pretty sure the, the length to have your intake pipe is 12 inches. So obviously there's a big difference here. But you can pick up two to three horsepower just in the length of this pipe. 
Jesse has done a write up on this and uh, we'll put a link in the in the description to the blog that we did on this. But we did a few back to backs and we found that the, the ideal length of this pipe was around about 12 inches. So, so now that Jesse's quietened down, you can literally gain three, three, three horsepower just through the length of the right intake hose. So definitely worth doing. I mean, some people are chasing five horsepower through cams and stuff, but for a 15 pound bit of pipe, you can get free power. So yeah, certainly worth reading into. We also make said pipe with Skunk 2 Velocity Stack. So yeah, we're, we're here today, um, basically back to back in the droppings versus country ultra ones. Yeah. So, what's your, have you got any predicted results or any input? Uh, I've never actually used the ultra ones. I've been trying to get a lot of customers onto them. Because, yeah. yeah, I don't think it's ever been, well I've certainly not no. seen a stock A2 no. with ultra ones. And usually yeah, the no, built no. motors or turbos. Yeah. Or, yeah. Like so yeah, it'd be interesting to see. Um, I'd like to think we'll make a lot more top end, but yeah, yeah we'll find out. Um, obviously, your valve springs are going to let us rev it. That could be useful to you on track. So, the oil pump is potentially the thing that we've got yeah. to watch out for. Yeah, ideally we put an oil pump in it, but a few times too like cheap, work, is it? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. No, but um, <coughs> I guess we're going to map it to nine. Yeah, we can if do. If it's still climbing, yeah. then there's a chance to be part of it. Yeah, yeah, we can always just make one brief sweep across how brave I am. How brave you are, yeah. So I know, I know stop button is probably good to have, like, 293. Yeah. Uh, oil pump isn't, but one run, you know, just to sort of validate the worthiness of an oil pump on it. Yeah. Could be useful to us. Um, yeah. But likely we're probably going to cap it at about 9,000. Yeah, yeah, all the while the stock pump's in there, we're cap it at nine, and even, even nine's probably pushing it a little bit, but we'll be right. So the valve springs and retainers are in now, so like we said, we've got Pro Series XP valve springs in there, titanium retainers, Jim's just prepping the assembly of the cams and stuff. Go on, Jim. Cams yes. and stuff. Jim's the real engineer. Jim doesn't like talking on camera, so I've got to talk for him. I don't really know what I'm talking about. I didn't realise Jim spoke, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> the thing with Jesse is he always likes to get hands on. Yeah. Well, he did. Don't just sit behind his laptop. Well, it does. Yeah. Up until something breaks. Up until the camera comes out, right? <laughs> <laughs> Any guesstimates? Oh. So we made Nia's Demic 250 on the drop ins, didn't we? Yeah, so two, 249 is what. We basically pulled it on the dyno this morning, yeah. made sure the engine was still healthy. I've done a couple of rounds of time and tap now. So we made pretty much exactly the same power as last time. Yep. So that's good news for me yep. and the engine. So, I'm, I mean, I'd love to see 260, but I think that's brave, isn't it? Mm, so I'm saying yeah, 256, 258. Yeah, I think they're, they're my guesstimates, so. I think we're probably about there. No pressure or anything. No. If he wants to hold the RPM like it's still going, yeah. then yeah, you, might, you might catch the higher numbers there as we rev it, but yeah, we'll see. Let's see. Any guesstimates, Jim? Save it on game. How about you, Ford? Ford's inspecting the camera. Yeah, Come. Yeah. Come. <laughs> so we've got two sixty. These ones from the loop side. Will there be any future tests away on the car to come after this one or? Bank account says no. <laughs> No. <laughs> um, after this, I'm probably going to get this season of time attack done and out of the way. What happens next year, I'm not sure. Um, turbo? Supercharger? Supercharger, Mikey. I mean, I think these cams will complement full production quite well, wouldn't they? So. Yeah, I can't see why not. Um, I mean, we might find out, though. So, yeah. Turbo next. 
turbo. <laughs> Lots of room for a turbo. Yeah, there is, there is. Supercharged. I, have you seen what happened to that? <laughs> oh. You're not going to be running 800 horsepower, are you? <laughs> Two engines later, and about yeah. in, a, in about five miles, yeah. should I? Is it four laps? Not a lot less to go Yeah, yeah. You need a Yeah. Yeah, none of that, I think. What would you like, Jess, if you were building a track car? Yeah, mate. Yeah. You had to go supercharge a turbo. Yeah, mate. Two in eight. Two in eight. One in the back. Yeah. Do you know what? I quite like a larger root style charger. Mm. Like a Jackson, but bigger. You can keep those, those puppies cool, maybe cool talk. Man. This is that's the problem with heat soap with them, isn't it? Mm. I'd, give, I'd just go to root jacks. Big dirty root jacks. Mm. Well, not necessarily big. No major, major, major power. Four hundred. Well, it is about four hundred. Four hundred. Good work, yeah. Getting things back together. Rolling on the dyno. Jesse not blowing it up. No. I make no promises. No promises. Send it. This is why you would send me out to do engine work. You'd be a bang. Jesse's fault. I'm jumping the engine. Who touched it? Watch out. Cheers, boys. We'll, we'll blame Fordy for it somehow. Somehow it's Fordy's fault. also gained some um, mid-range as well so the, the car itself now should should be a bit more responsive it will get get on the power easier get up there in the rev range I mean Honda's you know I'm sure everyone knows they're not re renowned for the massive no tour games no. but every little helps so we've gained um, some mid-range and we've gained 10 horsepower peak so if you're comparing these cams to an OEM cam OEM on this engine made 240 horsepower, so you could literally go from the OEM sleeves and you're gaining 20 horsepower, which is massive for the NA, NA world and the NA yeah. engine. Yeah. Um, obviously, we've got the Scoop 2 ca uh, drop of, uh, Ultra One cams with the valves, rings, and retainers. Other than that, it's a stock engine, so bottom end, you know, pistons, rivals, etc. We are completely stock. As for the oil pump, so we're revving it to 9,000, anything more than that, and it's, it's pushing a look really. I want to try and keep the, 
Keep the engine reliable for, for the racing, obviously. Um, and 9,000 is more than enough now, I think. So yeah, fingers crossed it on, on track. It, I'll, I'll feel the difference with, like I say, the mid-range. And I've also got that um, few extra hundred uh, RPMs, which would help massively, I reckon. So the bonnet's off now. Is there a reason the bonnet's off? Or uh, yes. So with the bonnet being down, um, we're struggling for heat a little bit. I've not really put much R&D into the intake. It's literally just a piece of pipe at the moment with a velocity stack on it. So when the bonnet's closed, I think we're suffering from a fair bit of heat. So, uh, yeah. so I need to either make a, you know, like an intake sort of scoop yeah. or, or maybe angle it down towards there because we've got loads of room there. Yeah. But yeah, there's definitely some, some development to be done on the intake system. So yeah, bonnet down, we've lost about seven horsepower by literally taking the bonnet off and having proper airflow onto the filter. We were, that's where we got the peak number as well. So yeah, um, airflow is everything really. Yeah. For that and making sure that you're not heat, heat soaking. Heat soaking is, I think, people, some people just completely overlook that. I think it's a kind of a myth, don't they? Yeah, yeah, and it, like literally, it's night and day difference. Well, we've got the facts there, haven't we? Like, yeah, well, instantly we made Seven, seven horsepower. Obviously, the bonnet was was off for the drop-in cam. Um, dyno run as well. It's not we, you know, we didn't dyno it with with the bonnet down. The bo bonnet was was off for that as well. So it is a you know a fair fair comparison. We made sure um, that we were at the same power for the drop-ins when it was Matt last down versus today yeah. of when we've done the drop-ins versus the, the we've, ultras. We've tried to replicate the, as close as we can as possible, hasn't we? And yeah, it, from when the drop-ins were mapped and we did match that power, so we were starting the day at 249 horsepower yeah. again. I think we, we actually made 250 on the dot today, so yeah. Um, so we've gone from 250 to 260 uh, drop-in, it's got two drop-in cams versus it's going to do ultra ones. So definitely, if you are considering a cam, and I, I personally, if it was my, my build again, I'd be skipping the dropping cams, and I'd just be going straight for, for a valve train upgraded yeah. cam, you know, valve swings, retainers, and ultra on cams, and you're getting 20 horsepower an okay, so. And like, like you say, for what you're using the car for, a race car, like, you're getting that top end as well, aren't you? Like, you're yeah, so you're getting more revs, so it's, it's not all about the, 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 the power gain, the, yeah. yeah, the numbers are so, an extra 200 revs could help you mid corner exactly. and anything getting over that you line, you're, not changing. you're in the power band for, power. for a longer period of time, yeah. which, which in racing can be everything, it can be the difference between when there's winning temps, and losing. Yeah, especially time tech, like, right? it comes down to temp sometimes. Oh, yeah. first and second. it's so close, yeah. yeah. If you can get on that power a little bit sooner. Yeah, well. If, if we had, uh, for example, a four piston oil pump in this, and we could definitely rev it to nine two now, I reckon. And I reckon we'd still be making numbers, so we could be, say, two sixty two, two sixty three. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe we'll do a run, just one cheeky run on this oil pump with slightly raised limiter, just to see if, if what we yeah. we think is going to be the case, because it is still climbing at the moment. Um, and then you know I'll have to put my hand in my pocket and get a fourth piston oil pump as well. And again, anything to make Don't a bit more power and keeping them, them them reps. So yeah, yeah, de definitely uh, a great upgrade for the K20 engine without a doubt. Those cams. Yeah. Thanks, Mike, and thanks, Scoop too. Yeah, yeah. Massive shout out to Scoop too for supplying us these cams and the, the valve swings and retainers for this test. Uh, once again, they were always willing to, to play ball with us and, and get the, the tests that people are wanting, you know. The, the dropping cam test was something that a lot of the Honda guys wanted for a long period of yeah, time. Super popular. So we did that and we had a great response from that. And then the question obviously naturally was, what, what about next? what next? So we got on Skunk 2, told them what people are asking and they supplied us with what we needed. We've got great results from it. Probably better results than what I was expecting personally. Yeah. I was expecting maybe another five horsepower. Wasn't expecting ten. So yeah.
great result. Yeah. So if there's anything else that you want to see tested or other things like that, what yeah, we yeah. And let, let us let us know, know uh, in the comments. We'll do our best to bring it. How uh, anything to try and get a bit of power out of these case areas, you know, we're always willing to uh, yeah. to get involved with. I think Jesse has a couple of ideas to do with um, something to do with valves or something, but yeah. I think anything more now is kind of big money, isn't it, to sort of get proof towards that 300 mark? Yeah, so above this now, I mean, I reckon we'll probably get to 265 on this setup, but yeah, we're definitely going to have to go, go the build, built engine from, from now, I think, and even overboard, you know, to a 2.1 or a 2.2. Um, I'd love to do it, but yeah, expensive. Let us know if you're a <laughs> the K22. Yeah, if anyone wants to build me an energy free, then I'm more than happy to, uh, to test that out for you. <laughs> but no, great result.